Five point four. Forty six. Forty six says if you have this normal bell shaped curve, the equation for its the area is this, the equation for the curve is y equals that. So the area between here and b, from 0 to b, is just the, you find the integral of that. Now uh, this times this is the equation of the curve. Okay, so this is saying that, uh, they, the table is saying they, they have that equation up there, that the area from here to here, from here to b, when b is 1, is that much area. If you went from 0 to 2, b is 2, if you went from 0 to 2, you get this much area. If you went from 0 to 3, you get this much area. 0 to 4, you get this. Well, it's not. it says 0 .5000, and that's what it is rounded, but it's actually a little bit less. There is a minute amount of area out, out there beyond 4. So, anyway, that's what this table and this graph is talking about. The area under the normal bell-shaped curve is the uh, is the bell-shaped curve is one over the square root of two pi e to the negative x squared over two, and the area under that curve is the is the probability of that those <coughs> different events. This adds up to be one total area if you've had your stacks course. Okay, so now it says, what's the area under the curve from 1 to 3? Well, if it's 0 to 1 is this much, 3.3413, and from, from 0 to 3 is this much, then 1 to 3 would be this minus that. And that's what you should do for that. Uh, so it's going to be 0 0.4987 minus 0 0.3413, which gives you 4751. And this one says the area from minus 2 to 3. Well, from 0 to 3 is this. But from negative 2 to 0 is the same area since this is symmetric. It's x squared, so it's got to be symmetric. If it, uh, from z z minus 2 to 0 is the same from 0 to 2, so we've got to add to this the area of 0.4772. So we get 0.9732. That's how you do those. 49. So on 49, we're given this function. The integral of the function, so the area under the curve from 0 to 7 is 25. So what's the square root of the area from there? So that's just the square root of 25, which is 5. 50. From 0 to 3 and a half. Well, we don't know the shape of this curve. If it was even or pretty symmetrical, it might be half of that. But if it's increasing function, then it wouldn't be half here as compared to that. Or decreasing or something like that. So we have no idea what that's going to be. And for 51, this says move the curve, adding uh, 2 to the x moves it left 2. So if whatever the curve was, if we move it left 2 and then find the area from minus 2 to 5, well that would be the same as it was from 0 to 7. Because it's the limits have been moved 2 back and the curve has been moved to back, and so we get the same answer. And the answer before was 25, so this is 25. Now, what happens if we go from 0 to 7, 
and we take the curve and raise it up to. So whatever the curve was that gave an oop from 0 to 7, and it gave an area of 25, and now we're going to move that whole curve up to, well, we're uh, adding basically 2 times 7, or 14 to it. So it's going to be 25 plus 14 more for raising up 2 from 0 to 7. So we get 39.